Hi, I'm Dr. Jessie. I'm a certified FSM practitioner and doctor of physical therapy at the Healing Collective Functional and Integrative Medicine in Niwak, Colorado. And I've been getting a lot of both patients and providers asking me recently, what is the difference between FSM and PEMF? So we'll break that down a bit. And the answer actually is it depends on which kind of a unit you're using. So I'm going to speak more specifically about the PEMF units that we use at the clinic that are frequency specific, meaning we can have specific frequencies, we can program specific frequencies into those units. Most PEMF units, and there are more coming out by the day, I don't actually know that, it's probably more by the month, but there are more PEMF units becoming available on the market. This field of electrotherapeutic medicine is really expanding right now. So it's helpful to kind of be able to discern what is gonna be the best um, product for me, the best experience for me, and get me the outcomes that I want. So um, that's what this video is also gonna be a bit about. So most PEMF units in the field now um, are not frequency specific. So they are creating a pulsed electromagnetic field or some kind of an energetic input to the system that is beneficial, and less specific than what we clinically know that these units can do. So, so yes, lying on a, a PEMF mat is beneficial to improve micro, microcirculation. And that's, and the effects of doing that can create other effects in the body. Um, however, there is so much more that's available in this form of technology if you go to a frequency specific pulse electromagnetic unit. But first of all, what is FSM? How does it deliver the current? It, FSM is a micro amperage form of TENS therapy. TENS is in milliamps, microcurrent is in microamps. There's a thousand fold difference. So it's a thousand times less intensity when you're utilizing microcurrent. So the current is being pulsed through the body from an electrode pad, a sticky pad at the back of the neck and the, below the navel, or from a moist towel around the neck and across the abdomen, or depending on what you're treating, the locations of those placements might be different. And so it's electrical current going through the body. When it's microcurrent, you, it's subsensor, you don't feel it. It's, it's not like a zingy, buzzy, anything. It's just matching the electrical current that your body naturally produces because we're electrical beings. And so that's FSM, so pulsed electrical pulses traveling through the body, but they're carrying at least two frequencies. One is targeting a tissue and the other is targeting a condition. So that's the amazing part of frequency specific microcurrent is that we're operating with this it, within this paradigm that we can be so specific to target such a specific tissue with a very specific con condition. For example, um, Carol McMakin published a paper on treating fibromyalgia with FSM and the specific frequencies that she utilizes in that study were the frequency to reduce inflammation on channel A and the frequency for the spinal cord on channel B. So we know that when we reduce inflammation in the cord, often, in most cases, pain goes down of fibromyalgia, especially cerv cervical trauma fibro. And so the specificity of the frequencies are, are important. If you did something else, um, like reduce pain and pressure in the cord, it doesn't have the same effect. Now, that's FSM, frequency specific microcurrent traveling through the body with these electrical pulses. PEMF is a pulsed electromagnetic field that's created. Your body, your heart creates an electromagnetic field. Your brain creates an electro electromagnetic field. And this device will create an electromagnetic field. The difference is frequency specific PEMF is able to target specific frequencies like FSM does, but the delivery system is different. Instead of pulsing electrical current through the body, it's pulsing these frequencies through a field, an electromagnetic field. It's not visible. Um, you also don't necessarily feel it. It's subsensory, but it's pulsing these 
instructions is how we can think of the specific frequencies into the field. And it is important, in my opinion, to be able to customize the specific frequencies that are being produced in the field and conducted in the field so that they elicit the right type of cellular changes that we're looking for therapeutically. So, as I mentioned before, there are so many PEMF devices on the market. Um, and if you're looking for something that can be frequency specific, that's the kind of question you would ask the provider or the person who's selling you a device. Is this device capable of producing at least two specific frequencies? Is it programmable? Is it changeable in the moment? Um, are you as the provider able to customize protocols based off of my treatment response? These are all great questions to be asking when you're looking for an FSM, PEMF um, provider. What you're looking to hear as the answer is yes, I can, pro I can customize protocols mid-session uh, based off your treatment response or yes, um, this unit is fully customizable. We can run two different frequencies at the same time. So we're targeting a tissue and a condition. Um, you're looking for, yes, I use magnetic converters, which are the way we talk about converting the specific frequencies from a device to a P PEMF um, delivery system. You'll know that you're in good hands if you're in a place where there is that ability to customize and tailor the treatment to your specific response, which often involves coming into the clinic multiple times and kind of tweaking things and making sure that um, that your response is as expected and, and is in alignment with your goals for treatment. I hope this was helpful. I am very happy to continue to answer questions in this format on our blog and on our YouTube channel and on our social media. So if you have more questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to get them answered for you. I hope this helps you in kind of discerning all of the various modalities that are coming available now. We're in this sort of like renaissance of frequency medicine uh, coming alive and it's a very exciting time and it also can be very overwhelming when you don't know like wh what is what is the best device for me. And I also offer free 15 minute consults to anybody anywhere. You don't have to live in Colorado um, to just help you to discern um, what would be the best for you and how to find a great practitioner. I also like to refer people to Carol McMakin's practitioner locator at frequencyspecific.com. So I hope this was helpful. Be well.